Facts First presents well known restaurants that will close this year. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button in order to stay updated with our latest videos. When you always eat at a restaurant, you're going to wish it would last forever due to how good their food is. You are going to wish it would last forever due to how good their food is. Unfortunately, nothing lasts forever, and there will come a time when your favorite restaurants close their doors and there's nothing you can do about it. You thought you could take your children and your children's children there one day, but you were wrong. Some restaurants tried various promotions like adding items to their menu and renovating their place. Those strategies barely work, though. Here are some popular restaurants that will most likely close their doors in 2020. Sabaro. The popular pizza chain saw the quality of their food go down recently. We all know how people love to go to restaurants that have delicious food. Besides, Sabaro has so many competitors due to how much people love pizzas. Thus, when their food quality went down, their customers started dining at their competitors, and it was pretty noticeable. Bar Louie. The bar closed a lot of their branches abruptly since it filed for bankruptcy. Everyone found out they have a lot of money tied up, and it is doubtful they will be able to repay that money, since most of their branches are now closed. It's only a matter of time before all their branches are closed. All their loyal customers decided to transfer bars too. Hooters. Hooters was a hot thing in the 1990s. However, today's generation are not exactly digging women with scantily clad clothes serving them. If they want something like that, they would rather go to a strip club, not a restaurant. Believe it or not, Hooters tried for a kid-friendly version called Hoots, but with the large amount of competition that type of version has, it will most likely not work. Besides, they would need to rely on their food for that concept to work. They are slowly closing all their branches all over the globe, and this year will most likely be the end for them. Applebee's. Applebee's is known for its reheated food, which is not known to be healthy. These days, people would prefer food that is freshly made. The restaurant is not known to use fresh ingredients either, which is the reason why their food is pretty cheap. Customers these days would go for quality over quantity. They would not mind paying a lot for high-quality fresh food, which is the cause for the decline of Applebee's popularity. They closed several branches over the years, and it is unlikely they make it out of this year. Jack in the Box. There are a a lot of fast food restaurants that are on the rise, and Jack in the Box is not one of them. Their value continues to decline each year, and it reached a new pinnacle when franchisees decided to pull their restaurants out. They want the CEO replaced because they were not doing anything about their competitors. They did not have anything new planned to keep up with their competitors such as McDonald's and Burger King. It looks like they raised the white flag already, and this year may be the year they closed down for good. Chipotle Mexican Grill It's never good for a restaurant to have people complaining about your food making them sick. It happened to Chipotle Mexican Grill grill, which made a lot of people avoid their food for a while. Their problems did not stop there as someone charged them with a child labor lawsuit. With them needing to pay their lawyers a large amount of money for every court appearance, they decided it is just not working out for them. In fact, they decided to close more than 60 branches this year. It won't be long before they decide to call it quits. Golden Corral. There was a time before when buffets were a hit because you can eat a lot and not pay much for it. Now that does not seem to be the case as buffets are criticized for making you fat. Besides, buffets are known to contain leftover food from the other day and the day before that. Today's generation would rather see quality over quantity, which means they would rather spend on an expensive meal instead of a cheap buffet. Given how Golden Corral relies on its buffet, it won't be long before this brand closes down. BJ's Brewhouse. BJ's Brewhouse has struggled over the past few years with its sales. It has a lot of new competitors and they simply can't keep up. Their stock has fallen and it won't be long before they close branches. They don't have a lot of branches all over the nation anyway, so it won't be a surprise before they disappear from the radar and people would hardly notice. Quiznos. It was not too long ago when Quiznos was on the top of its game, as it had around 5,000 branches. In fact, it attracted long lines that had hungry customers patiently waiting for their subs. However, they struggled mightily and lost a bunch of customers. As a result, they now have less than half of the 5,000 branches, and the numbers figure to decrease even more. They tried introducing new products to the market, but that did not work out either. Steak and Shake. When Steak and Shake first opened, their sales were really good, and they managed to open many branches in various countries. However, things don't go out as planned as their sales started to decline. They stated on their social media that they were closing some branches, but not temporarily. The reality is they just hope to find new investors to make up for the losses. It's doubtful some people would answer that call, so it's possible they won't make it past the year. Hometown Buffet. This restaurant is another evidence that buffets aren't quite cutting it anymore. It was not long before their number of branches was sliced in half. They suffered by having critics say their food is pretty bad, and having a lot of choices were not always a good thing for consumers. They actually filed 
three bankruptcies, and that's never good news for a business. In fact, it's a miracle how they still have branches operating, but it won't be a surprise to see that number go to zero this year. Hula hands. There was a time when hula hands would be packed, with people taking advantage of their happy hour drinks. They even tried a healthy menu that would cater to the people who are starting to be conscious of their health. Unfortunately, it did not work the way they wanted it to. Now they've seen their sales decline, as they've been slowly closing their branches due to the amount of money they owe in debt. Baja Fresh. Do you love a Mexican restaurant that serves fresh burritos and tacos? That's what Baja Fresh is known for, but they don't seem to attract crowds like they used to ever since they were acquired by Wendy's. The main reason for that is they close branches without alerting anybody. Thus, their staff are suddenly left scrambling to look for new jobs. That is never good for a restaurant's image, as it makes them look like a company that does not care for their staff's financial well-being. Oh, Charlie's. O'Charlie's achieved a milestone of futility when they closed eight branches in one day. One of the main reasons why they're struggling is they have yet to make changes to their menu. Customers would always want something new, and they refuse to believe that. They think that their mall branches would attract the usual mall goers. However, malls are starting to close down, and it won't be too long before all their branches do too. Perkins. Perkins has many branches, but last year there was a dispute between the company that owns the brand and a franchise that owns 26 Perkins branches. After its reputation got severely damaged, they decided to close several branches over the year. This year, Perkins was sold to Huddle House, but even a big company like that could not rescue this brand from its severe woes. Due to the amount of competitors piling up, it may be too late to save this brand from its eventual collapse. Since all of these popular restaurants will likely not make it past this year, better enjoy their food while you still can. It's possible their nearest branch will suddenly close without prior notice. One good idea would be to look for better options and you'll find out why their sales declined in the first place.